Hello everyone, in this video what I'm going to be showing is how to do multipath routing in Azure Front Door. So, so far we have configured um, Azure Front Door basic configuration and also we have added a custom domain to the Azure Front Door and we have also enabled HTTPS using a managed certificate. So at the moment I have only one backend back pool and I have one route rule and everything is routed based on um, based on the best path available for the end user. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, modifying these backend pools and routing rules so that I have specific addresses. Uh, I, I won't route them to a one instance and uh, some of the other routes that I some of the other paths I want to route it to a different instance. So let's see how it's done. So I have configured this base um, configuration in Azure Front Door, and if you want to have a look at how it's done, so there are some other videos. I'll put it in the description for for the uh, for the URLs for that video. And um, yeah, so let's see how the the backend pool configuration and everything is done. So basically, what I want is from my from the application side of things, I want uh, all the U the root URLs and everything to route to one instance. And once I'm logged in, once I'm booked, once I want to go to book and also booked uh, URLs, I want to navigate them to a different um, server or the east west server. So let's see how it's done. Um, so first of all, I need to divide the backend pools into two because routing rules are done as per the backend, uh, as pointed to the backend pools. So let's create uh, two backend pools for our two instances. So let's say, um, Contoso Air East US backend, and then I'm going to add that East US backend pool. Let's correct subscription. So I'll select the East US pool and then click add and then I'll go ahead and add um, I don't know, I'm gonna I'm not gonna add into this instance go back to the backend pool so that's all what I have in here and then I'll click add and then um, I'll click save uh, just to save this in these settings and once it's saved let's add the other one so I'll click click on the plus button again and then this time the West US two, uh, two and uh, backend it's the naming convention. So let's add the West US two backend and click add. Add. That's done. And let's click save again. Right. So that now we have added the two backend pools. Um, let's go ahead and um, we'll, configure, we'll configure the routing rules. So rather than, yeah, so what, what I'm going to do is uh, modify this routing rule. So now it's directing to the, uh, the root of the, uh, of the path. So this is like the default path. And I'm going to tell uh, for the default path, I want to go to the West US instance rather than to the um, the default one, which is normally load balance. So I want to point out everything to go into the West US, anything that I don't um, define in the other rule. So let's update this and then let's add another rule to say booking. And then I want to listen on both addresses. And in here I have book URL and I want another path booking and I want another path as login so everything else will be going to the default path and this one should be going to the east us instance and the other one goes to the uh, west us instance so let's save these settings and uh, and then we'll clean up the previous rules that I had Right, so that's saved now. We can pretty much delete this rule because it's not gonna be in use. So let's delete that and save that as well. 
Okay, now we are done. So let's go ahead and do some testing. So let's, I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna go um, again to my URL. And then I'm gonna go HTTPS rather than HTTP. That's good. And now it's responding with West US 2. Let's go to the booking site. You will see now it corresponds with East US. So the routing rule, the routing rule that I put in, they are in action now. So you can see now it's instant. Like whenever you update your front door configuration, it's it's basically applying instantly. So that's how you configure multipath routing, and you can define as um, like as much as the criteria as you want in the rules, and uh, the multipath routing will behave as is. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video and thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.